there is an example that we can use in terms of risk management and assessment and analysis uh, from recent times, and that is the pandemic itself. Actually, all kinds of examples, because the risks of the pandemic were, uh, number one, very difficult to access, and, and rather unknown. Uh, you know, we were learning on the fly as all of this was going on, but also because of the prevalence of risks in terms of likelihood, that, that the risks were never binary. Uh, if, you, if you wore masks, you didn't get COVID. If you didn't wear masks, you did get COVID. But it was a matter of probability, likelihood. Uh, there were, you know, statistical uh, risks and, and statistical calculations had to be made. So, um, in terms of, uh, well, you know, I started with masks. Uh, the uh, masks would catch droplets. Now, any aerosols um, would, uh, not any aerosols, but a number of aerosols would likely escape even if you were wearing masks. If you had, you know, respirator type masks, uh, and 95 filters and all that kind of stuff. Yes, the the risks were lower in statistical terms, but it wasn't binary. You know, it wasn't wear a mask and you don't get it. Don't wear a mask and you do get it. It wasn't to uh, have an N95 and you uh, don't get it. Uh, wear a, a dust mask and, and you do get it. You know, it was always a matter of probability that the risks are greater if you're not wearing a mask at all. They're somewhat reduced if you're wearing a dust mask. They're somewhat more reduced if you're wearing an N95. They are reduced even further if you're wearing a respirator, but it's not, still not a guarantee. Uh, there is additionally risk, even if you're wearing a, an N95 respirator type mask and uh, you then leave the environment, take off the respirator mask, but don't, you know, run your fingers through your hair and then touch your face and uh, eat a sandwich, you know, um, there's still some risk there because you are uh, not following uh, protections against the fomite transfer. So, uh, you know, it's, it's statistical levels, it's probabilities, it's likelihood, it's not a, a quantum thing uh, in terms of the risks. And again, there's, a, there's an awful lot of risks that are going to be like that in security. Um, when we get into physical security, if you put up a, a fence that's a meter high, that is kind of a suggestion. Uh, if you put up a fence that's two meters high, that's kind of a recommendation. You put up a fence that's two and a half meters high with a top guard barbed wire on the top, uh, then you're, you know, making an indication to people that you're really getting serious here, but it's still not 100%. Um, so, okay, masks. Now we got uh, the vaccines themselves. And all kinds of numbers, all kinds of statistics, all kinds of probabilities and discussions of the probabilities and um, what is it that uh, is going to be safe in regard to uh, the, the vaccines. And of course there are uh, all kinds of trials. You know, are the vaccines themselves safe? And there's the testing there. Um, there is the then the issue of uh, how effective are they? Um, you know, how much protection do you get from certain types of vaccines? Um, and and again, as as we've discussed earlier. Uh, what type of protection, you know, protection against getting COVID, 
uh, completely protection against getting very sick with COVID and having to go into hospital protection against COVID to protect you from dying, you know, and, and different levels of protection at all of those areas. And as I say, you know, the AstraZeneca got a, a bit of a bad rap because uh, people said, oh, it's not, you know, it doesn't protect you as well from getting it. But it did, at least in terms of the tests, protect 100% in terms of people dying. So, um, you know, different areas, different uh, types of protection, different levels of protection, but again, statistical. Uh, you know, there isn't any guarantee, even, you know, taking the best uh, available uh, vaccines, there is not 100% guaranteed protection that you will not get COVID at all. So, a number of areas there. Uh, a number of discussions that we have to have in terms of what is the, the protection, what is the, you know, and, and it's not, again, binary. It's not you, you get the shot, you don't get COVID. You don't get the shot, you do get COVID. Um, you know, all kinds of people didn't get uh, vaccinated and didn't get COVID either because, um, you know, their, their risk of exposure was less, they weren't in an environment, or they were just lucky. Uh, you know, it's all kinds of possibilities there. But it's, uh, you know, this is, this is the type of thing, and this is why it's so difficult to explain to people what the importance is in certain types of risk, in, in um, doing... Uh, certain types of protection in taking certain precautions in, in putting certain controls into place and, and countermeasures and safeguards you know do they give us 100% protection generally speaking no unfortunately that is just the reality of, of life um, and the reality of, of security and we have to uh, try and explain this situation um, and we have to ourselves try and determine you know is this protection and is this protection worth it